I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a very important technique of integration and that is called rationalizing substitution. The question here is make substitution to express integrand as a rational function and then evaluate the integral right so that's the kind of method which we will apply. So in this list I have a couple of examples based on this concept and I hope it is going to help you a lot. So the idea is first to write this as a rational expression. It is not a rational expression at present since it has this radical part. So we'll do a substitution. So let's substitute u equals to square root of x plus 1. Right? Let's do this substitution. So in that case, if I square both sides, I get u square equals to x plus 1. And if I take derivative, I get 2u du equals to dx, right? We have this term x also here. So what we can, we can rearrange this. And from here, we can write x is equals to u square minus 1. Does it make sense to you? So, so now I think we can substitute these things and see what do we get. So we could write our integral here as, so dx is 2u du and the denominator here is we have x which could be written as u square minus 1 and then square root of x plus 1 is u so we get this part right u and u cancel so since it cancels we get 2 over u square minus 1 right so u square minus 1 could be written as let me write it steps u square minus 1 du right so uh, so that's what we get which we could actually write as combination of so we have done we have written this as a rational functions right so we can now do it by partial fractions right so let me rewrite this as factors of u square minus 1 which is u plus 1 times u minus 1 du right so we come to this stage now, 2 over u plus 1 times u minus 1 could be written in the factored form, right? So, let's do that part. So, let's write down how. So, so I'll do it on this right side. Okay. So, we, what we are saying here is that let 2 over u plus 1 times u minus 1 equals to a over u plus 1 plus b over u minus 1. If I multiply by u plus 1, u minus 1, I get 2 equals to a times u minus 1 plus b times u plus 1. Okay? So that is 2 equals to, if I expand it, so we get u a plus b times u and b minus a or you can say minus a plus b right so if i expand i get a u b u so i've taken u common a plus b times u minus a plus b now on the right side we have a plus b u there's nothing like that here so we can now make two equations from here so the two equations to solve will be a plus b equals to zero and minus a plus b equals to 2, right? So these are the two equations which we need to solve to get our result, right? Alternate way could have been, if I substitute 1 here, a becomes 0, right? For you, b will be 2, 2b. Two 2b two equals to 2 will give me b as 1 answer, right? So we could do like that also. Anyway, so at present what we have is, we have two equations here. Let me number them. Equation 1 and equation 2. If I add them, that is, if I add equation 1 and equation 2, what do I get? I get a minus a is 0. I got b plus b, which is 2b, equals to 2. And that gives me b equals to 1. Do you see that? And if I subtract, then I get 2a equals to minus 2 or a equals to minus 1. So this is what I get when I do 1 minus 2. Do you see that? So I get a and b values. So therefore, 
I could write this integrate as instead of 2 over this I could write this as minus 1 over u plus 1 right and then we have du integrate 1 over u minus 1 du perfect so that is what we get and now we know directly we could write this as ln right so it could be written as equal to minus ln absolute value of u plus 1 and uh, I mean this is plus in between yeah plus ln absolute value of u minus 1 correct so that is the solution but we need to substitute u by our expression right so let's we'll do that but anyway minus and this is plus really means that we could write this as let me push this page a bit to the so what we have here is ln and absolute value of u minus 1 right over u plus 1 and that is equals to ln and uh, well of course plus c right plus c we'll substitute u back with square root of x plus 1 so we have ln absolute value of square root of x plus 1 minus 1 divided by square root of x plus 1 plus 1 plus c right so that becomes the solution of the given question i hope that helps thank you and all the best